Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Since last time, I've changed my setup a little bit. I've got the Phoenix Plume and Chainmail on Dart to help out with his, ma with his magic defense. I don't care about the status protection of the Phoenix Plume, just the magic defense it offers is as good as it gets right now. Uh, same thing with Rose on the Phoenix Plume, but I also got the Magical Ring to help out with her magic attack stat and Dancer Shoes to help out with her speed. Miranda probably would be better, <laughs> actually, but since I don't really plan on using her, I'm going to use Rose in her place. And let's see, Meru, I also want the Magical Ring. Even if I hit, well, I do have the Dancer's Ring, but even if I intentionally farmed it and were willing to use it, I'd still rather have the magical ring over the dancer's ring for this part. And I got the jeweled crown on Meru because it gives her more of a magic attack boost than the phoenix plume does. If you managed to farm one of the magical hats back at the phantom ship area, I would give that to Meru instead, or Rose, whoever you like giving it that too. It would have a much higher magic attack stat, but the jeweled crown and the phoenix plumes, that's all we got. And I couldn't give it to Rose even if I wanted to, because she can't equip that. Now, in order to get to the end of this area, you don't have to go through the whole maze that we went through the last time. All you gotta do is stay on this rock for a little while. Boom, we're there. And that'll take us straight to the end. If you took the left path, it would also eventually lead you to the same place anyway. It's just that we're in, or we're taking a different access point to get to the penultimate room. So yeah, if you went through the left path there, this winding path that goes all the way to the top there, you can see a little pink thing, whatever that is. I think that's where you would come out of and then you'd have to walk all the way down here anyway. But we got both paths leading to the same place anyway. Yeah, that's the door there. But we can't go through there. Because I didn't, well, take that path to get there. Ooh, shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Well, it's magic. You don't need it to... Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, heck, we had that... What was it? The moon? No, not moon pearl. Moon gem. That was pretty small. Holy cow. Well, what about the chains? What, were they magic chains or something? Sounds like a plan. We've taken down two dragons already. How hard could he possibly be? <laughs> Not actually, he is pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Ah! Well, fortunately, I've been doing a little bit of grinding. Ah! Huh. So it just happened to break free in, within the same year that the Dragoons came back? That seems like an awfully big coincidence. Huh. Okay. Huh. But yeah, it just seems odd that the seal on the Divine Dragon would just happen to break when the people actually have the ability to stop it. Oh yeah, yeah, these guys would have one of those, wouldn't they? What do you mean? Uh, I would have to disagree with you there, Miranda. I think it's exactly our business. Because if Lloyd gets a hold of them all, I don't think it's going to end very well. I don't know what they do, but I would imagine it wouldn't end very well. Well, actually, I do know what they do, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Whoa! What the? The Dragon Black Staff's coming out of its ass! We're 
boss time! And this guy is not extraordinarily difficult, but, well, you'll see. But anyway, you do not want to use your Dragoon forms against him unless you... Uh, what is it? Uh, um, unless you only have, like, one SP level, because he'll use the Dragon Block Staff on you, and it won't work too well for you. So, this guy is Earth Elemental, so I want to use the Spinning Gale to take advantage of its elemental weakness there. Now, for now, with Rose, I'm just having her use the Spinning Gales, but I do want to get some buffs on Mero there before she gets some stuff going there. Okay, we'll use Power Up on her. Now, the way Power Up works, it, at least in this case, it'll boost her magic attack stat by, I think, 50%. And then I want to use Speed Up on her. Now, even though she used the power-up on herself there, it'll still last three, th her next three turns. Her current turn doesn't count towards the total of three turns that you get the power-up or speed-up or whatever to work on you like that. But yeah, this is why I saved six spinning gales for this guy. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, this guy, we should be able to kill him with just the Spinning Gales. If I need to, well, I can have Dart join in with some additions, so I don't think he'll really need to do that. Maybe give him a little bit of work on his additions there. But yeah, the thing with Power Up, that's the reason why I generally buy my magic items as a multiple of three. Ow. Yeah, because, well, we got the power-up, and that only lasts three turns. And usually by then, you should be able to kill a boss, but in this case, this guy has quite a bit more HP. So yeah, this is about the point of the game where the bosses start getting a lot longer attack animations, a lot more HP, so it takes a while to take them down. Sometimes I can get by on just three magic attack items, but not in this case. Is that... whatever that glowy part of his body is, what is that? Is that like an eye? I don't know. But as long as we almost can't use our dragon forms, we might as well get some work in on the additions there for Dark. Awesome. But yeah, if you use a dragon form, even if you used Albert's yeah, he won't be able to do a whole lot to this guy. Yeah, it, it'll, like, crush your... Pretty much all your stats, really. Uh-oh. Nuts. Wow. Okay, well, we'll just keep on going, then. I'll probably use the last Spinning Gale with Mero, though it won't deal nearly as much damage as before, because power-up is worn off by now. But that's okay. We've almost got him. Man, it's been a while since I've had to do mashing to boost those yes. elemental items. Yeah, it makes me wonder how I ever got the boosting that high earlier on. Oh well, sometimes I... I don't know why. Sometimes I can mash really, really well, and other times, not so much. But we're doing okay. Okay, we almost got him. Yeah, this edition kind of throws me off, because each subsequent hit seems to get a little slower by however many frames. It's like a slow ball. But fortunately, no counts there. Uh-oh. I might need to use a healing fog or a healing freeze. Yeah, this is why I've got all that magic defense equipment, because, well, that's pretty much all this guy has to use against us. I could have also used Hashel instead of Rose. Bringing Rose along doesn't really help that much. 
But I think she is slightly more optimal than Hashel because of her magic attack stat. And we also get another tier 3 item that we will want to hold on to. Alright! Uh, usually I don't get cool boogie until after the next boss, so... But that's probably because of the little extra grinding that I'm doing for Rose's additions there. Alright, we only got one more addition between Meru and Hashel to get their penultimate additions. They should probably get both of them by the end of Disc 3. Or maybe early in Disc 1, or Disc 4. And there's a really good grinding spot there. So if you want to grind up your additions, but you didn't want to use this place for whatever reason, or maybe you're playing ahead of me, you might as well just wait until Disc 4, because there's a better spot to take care of all that. Well, sounds like a plan. Fortunately, we don't have to go back the way we came. We can... Yeah, it's not like a lot of the other dungeons before where we just had to walk all the way back out. Now, now we get a little faster way to get out of this place. Well, that was easy. But yeah, we gotta get back to the starting platform to teleport back. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that before fighting the boss or the guardian there. Game? Yeah, come on! I was like half a step away from getting out of this place. At least when I was practicing earlier today, I was able to get there without getting into a random battle, but I guess I got caught around the corner of that last turn there. Oh well. What's going on? Was it a load-bearing boss? Uh-oh. So, why didn't he attack this place? I mean, did the Divine Dragon just look and say, Oh, yeah, there's no one home. So, I guess we'll just leave it alone. Or, the Divine Dragon could have tried attacking, well, the Forest of Wingleys. I would think that would be a little closer. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Sounds like a plan. Or, I don't know, you guys could carry us all the way over there. Well, there is seven of us. It'd be kind of hard to lift Congo that far. Holy cow. Well, you teleported us all the way to the ruins. Maybe that's why he couldn't tell us teleport us back the first time. Hey! hey! Yeah, you guys are all right. But can we make it in time? Well, let's find out. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa there. And they got a lot of Leaning Towers in this game, huh? So, are you just gonna flap your wings and pass on by without much incident? He seems a lot angrier than the first time. How many eyes do you need? Uh-oh. 
Come on. What's that? Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about that, viewers. Well, anyway. Well, at least you didn't nuke the whole place. That's another game, viewers. Well, so much for all the shops. Well, they're still here, but... They're outside now, it looks like. Did I... No, I was thinking of something else. I was like, did I see a sparkle up there? But, well, there's kind of sparkles everywhere, I guess. I thought there was something significant there. But anyway, now that the place has been pretty ruined, let's see if I can find it around here somewhere. Can't seem to get it. There it is. A secret stardust. Yeah, there's five stardusts that we can get here. But all right, easy enough. Uh, let's see. There's another one over here. Well, we got to go into well, what used to be the inn. But anyway, let's, uh, yeah, we got to go up to the second floor of this place. Oh, and the save point's been moved inside now. So, that was awfully convenient. I wonder how they move those things around, anyway. It's just like a little ball of light. Kind of reminds me of Radiant Historia, but without the books. But up here, by the wire spindle, or whatever that thing, or, or yeah, whatever that thing is, we get another secret stardust. So... Let's see, that should be 43 Stardust so far. There's a couple more we can get, but not in this place. Well, at least there's not too many casualties around here. Oh, but, you know, Shana was in the Crystal Palace. At least when we left her, she was in that room. Is she still alive? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!